Well, guys, here's one that I forgot about and most people likely don't know about because she slipped under the radar at the time and is hoping it remains that way, Gam. Forward. Of course, me being reminded of it means I'll do my best to make sure as many people know what Nana Rakur or whatever her name is said on GB News and Jeremy Vine. This former BBC trout at times rivaled Pierce Morgan and Poundland Rod Stewart when it came to jabs, prison sentences and all that, but many people just don't know or remember. I'm actually guilty of that myself, so here is a reminder for everyone. So there has to be a level of discrimination in terms of have you been vaccinated? If you can't be vaccinated, have you been tested? Terry, you're saying that, that people shouldn't be allowed to travel. How would you police that, though? Because it's, it's a nice idea, but how, how, would you, how would you go about enforcing that? Make, make more prisons or get one of those floating prison ships of people who break the rules. Whatever you've got to do, uh, they need to be incarcerated. Even if they don't get the full 10 years, at least they'll end up with a criminal record. And that's going to affect them throughout their lives as well. So absolutely, the punishment needs to be way harsher than it is. And 10 years, I think, is, is, is a good start. But I do feel, as we know more about the transmission, uh, once you've been vaccinated, once we, as we know more about that, then I, I, I think that we could potentially move more swiftly. But then there'll be the complainers who say, well, it's not fair, we haven't been vaccinated, we can't do this. So if we want to make sure that this is literally the last lockdown, then I would absolutely say that we shouldn't open up things until all over 18s are vaccinated. Yeah, there you see it. No ifs or buts about it. She supported not only jab passports, but also ship rods. No jab, no job. They keep going on about human rights and all this nonsense. The world's changed. We, 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 we need to get everybody jabbed. It should be no job, no jab, no job, no travel if you've not had the jab. It should give them no of the furlough money if they've not had the jab. I know it's not what people want to hear, but we need to stop pussyfooting around. It's the only option we've got at the moment to, to get through the pandemic. Why are we all against it? Obviously, that's a strong move, throwing your lot in with him, but she also threw her lot in with Hancock and his 10-year prison sentence for not filling out a COVID travel form. Mr Hancock, you've introduced a law by which a perfectly healthy individual could be incarcerated for 10 years for wrongly misleading about the fact he or she had been to Portugal. Perfectly healthy individual locked up for 10 years. What is your legal background on that? Well... If I understood you were an economist. I didn't know you had a, a background in law. It's complete insanity, I know, and even more so when you remember we had people coming on holiday from abroad throughout the first lockdown and the whole pandemic. Yeah, she stands alongside that sort of scum and has kept very quiet about the tripe she spewed, which means we should all do what we can to remind people. So share this around and never let these medical zealots live it down. There will be no realm, no barren moon. No crevice where he cannot find you.